Hi everyone. Today, we're diving into an exciting part of algebra, solving inequalities. Inequalities are just like equations, but instead of an equal sign, we work with symbols like greater than, less than, greater than, or equal to, or less than or equal to. We solve inequalities using the same approach that we use to solve equations. There is just one exception. When you divide or multiply both sides of an inequality by a negative number, you must change the direction of the inequality sign. For example, we all know that 10 is greater than negative 6. If we divide both sides by negative number, like for example, negative 2, we'll get 10 divided by negative 2, negative 5 on the right. On the left, we will get negative 6 divided by negative 2, which is positive 3. Now is negative 5 greater than positive 3? Definitely not. For the inequality to make sense, we'll need to change its direction, since negative 5 is actually less than positive 3. Notice that if we divide both sides by positive 2, there is no need to change its direction, because we will get 5 is greater than negative 3, which is actually true. We'll start with a simple example, 5x plus 4 is greater than 19. Solving inequalities follows many of the same rules as solving equations. To isolate x, we subtract 4 from both sides. This will leave us with 5x is greater than 15. To get rid of the 5 multiplied to the x, we do the opposite and divide both sides by 5. And there you have it. Our solution is x is greater than 3. The inequality symbol stays the same because we divided both sides by a positive number. This means that x can be any value that's bigger than 3. But how do we show this visually? We use a number line. 4x is greater than 3, we draw an open circle at 3, and draw an arrow going right. The open circle means 3 isn't included in the solution. Just like with solving equations, we first need to expand the brackets. We have 4, then we will multiply each term in the bracket by negative 2. Negative 2 times m is negative 2m. Negative 2 times negative 3 is positive 6. On the right, it's still 3m plus 20. Just like we do when solving equations, we group the like terms. We will group 3m to the left, so it will change its sign to negative 3m. If we group the 4 and the 6 to the left, they change signs to minus 4 and minus 6. Now, to calculate minus 2m minus 3m, we add and keep the sign to get minus 5m. On the right we get 10. We need to isolate the m, so we divide both sides by negative 5 to get rid of the negative 5 that's multiplied to the m. So we have m now isolated on the left. We need to change the direction on the inequality symbol because we divided both sides by a negative number. On the right, we have 10 divided by negative 5, which is negative 2. Our solution is therefore, m is less than or equal to negative 2. To represent the solution on a number line, we shade our circle at negative 2 to indicate that negative 2 is a part of the solution set, since the or equal to is there. The arrow will go to the left, since it's less than. To solve this next inequality, we'll need to get rid of the fraction, so we can multiply both sides by the denominator 3 to do so. 3 times the left-hand side leaves us with negative 2x, while 3 times 4 is 12. We need to get rid of the negative 2 multiplied to the x, so we divide both sides by negative 2. This leaves us with x on the left. We change the direction of the inequality since we are dividing by a negative number. On the right, it's 12 divided by negative 2, which is negative 6. Our solution is x is greater than negative 6. We can represent our solution on a number line by putting an unshaded circle at negative 6 to indicate that negative 6 is not a part of the solution set, and our arrow pointing right since it's greater than. Inequalities are super useful in real life. To wrap up, always remember to treat inequalities like equations, watch out for the sign flip when multiplying or dividing both sides by negative numbers. Thanks for learning with me today. Don't forget to practice, and if you have any questions, drop them in the comments. See you next time.